Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am an Adrenal Fatigue Recovery Ninja, and today I want to welcome you back to another edition of your Adrenal Fix. Today the topic of conversation is once again adrenal fatigue and brain fog. And how many of you that are suffering with adrenal fatigue have focus issues, concentrations, not being sharp on the ball, not remembering what you're going to say in a sentence and losing your train of thought, coming out from the mall not knowing where your car is, waking up in the morning and trying to find your car keys or your wallet, just not be leaving the front door wide open and um, the garage door not shut. I remember when my kids were, you know, I have twins and when they were um, just a couple months old, we would go shopping, grocery shopping, and I would come out of the, of the grocery store and I would see the back door of the car wide open. And I had taken them out, put them in the stroller, and of course I should, forgot to shut the door and I had been in there for an hour. So I had a lot of brain fog. And so thus I am trying to educate you guys on what you can do about your brain fog and how it relates to your stress. First of all, what I always like to talk about are the genetic genetics and the epigenetics. So the genetics are the born inherited traits that you you acquire that you are born with and typically we look to your mother to find out what clues may be had in terms of what she dealt with or what her side of the fam family dealt with because it's ultimately her mitochondrial DNA that you inherit. So perhaps she had a thyroid problem or there was mood disorders or there was bipolar or depression or OC or rheumatoid arthritis or gastrointestinal issues. If these are clues that your mother or your mother's side of the family has been dealing with, then you know you have the pre- um, determined or you say the, the the genetic predisposition for turning on these genes and expressing the problem. The epigenetic component is your life. So if you have a stressful life, you have twins, you have over $150,000 worth of student loans, you have a new business, you have new loans, all the things that I was dealing with. Um, you have uh, times of the day where you're not eating throughout the day constantly. You're letting your blood sugar go too high or too low. Uh, there's infections. There's heavy metal toxicities. All of these are going to be epigenetic components that turn on the genetic components. And one thing I wanted to talk to you about with brain fog and having some focus and concentration issues is with your neurotransmitters. And certainly stress is going to expose the weaknesses. And what does that mean? That means, let's say we had all these stressors, a job we hate, um, a marriage we're, we're having difficulties with, um, finances that are difficult to pay back, a loved one who's sick, all of the above. Then this stress is going to cause these wheels to spin quicker. And in these wheels, you have enzymes that break down or make neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine and acetylcholine, and catecholamines, and GABA. So if you have enzymes that you've inherited from your mother that aren't working at optimal efficiency, and you put on top of that stress, then all of a sudden you don't break down serotonin effectively, or you don't have the raw materials, the amino acids, to produce enough serotonin, or you have receptor site resistance because serotonin is hanging around too long. And the same thing can happen with all of these things. And thus we would have more brain fog and depression and focus and concentration and and then so that's one of the relationships to stress the other is brain nutrition so in terms of nutrition our brain needs enough fuel and if we're not getting enough fuel then we're not getting enough impulses and different lobes of the of the brain will start to fatigue like your your focus and concentration and your decision making, the frontal part of your lobe, or the parietal part of your lobe where it's responsible for all sensory input to the body. You may have carpal tunnel syndrome, or numbness and tingling, and fibromyalgia, and peripheral neuropathy, or you smell things other people don't smell, or taste things other people don't taste. You're not getting enough nutrition to the brain, and that's causing brain fog, and that's exposed by stress. The other thing we could have is blood sugar instability. So you're insulin resistant. Your mitochondria cells are are, are, are sick. Your, your blood sugar is not stable. Your adrenals are fatigued. Um, of course, we have the stress and the essential fatty acid absorption from gallbladder and liver. And then, of course, 
we may have some gut breakdown and leakiness of the gut. So anyway, suffice to say, you're starting to see these connections between brain fog and the stress that's in your life and the genetic inherited weaknesses that we have and the expression of these weaknesses with the wrong exposures of stressors. So anyways, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I just wanted to give you a little insight into the relationship between brain fog, focus concentration issues, and stress. Uh, if you liked what you heard, please give me a share or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you visit me on Facebook under Adrenal Fatigue Society or go check out my blog at AdrenalFatigueSociety.com. Once again, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen and I look forward to helping you recover with your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Thank you so much.